George Phillies. Thank you very much for coming to the 2008 Liberty Forum. It's a delight to be here. Thank you very much. I wanted to ask you three questions. My first question is, what unique thing are you bringing to the Libertarian Party as a candidate, as, as a presidential nominee? I am bringing major volunteer activity, fundraising, and practical experience as a prior federal candidate. Very good, thank you. My second question is, here in New Hampshire, um, we have actually a fair amount of freedom and liberties that other states do not enjoy. Perhaps, um, let me list some of them. Uh, we have the uh, no seat belt. We have uh, we just rejected the federal ID program, um, the you know, uh, licensing of firearms, etc. Um, how? What is your plan to to bring this to the other 49 states? I'm limited by what I can get top Congress into doing, but we have this brilliant social experiment, the Free State Project that is going to give a positive model to the rest of America on how we can live freer lives. Well, that wonderfully brings me to my third question. Do you endorse the Free State Project? I am indeed a member of the Free State Project. I will eventually move here, I expect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Jingozian. I'd like to welcome you to the 2008 Liberty Forum. I'll have three questions to ask you. My first question is, what unique thing do you bring to the Libertar Libertarian Party as a presidential nominee? Well, my organization, Reset America, is a real plan. It's a real campaign to win, to, to obtain 5 to 7 percent of the popular vote and win the delegates from the state of Oregon. Mm -hmm. We have a real message. We have solutions that don't cost anything to implement, and I want people to know that we are empowered to fix the problems faced in our country. But the real problem is understanding that these solutions really exist. And there are qualified, intelligent people running for office and that want to contribute to government, but not as a Democrat or as a Republican. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in New Hampshire here, we have a uh, no seatbelt law. We have um, Firearms uh, licensing that's fairly fairly free. Um, on that note, what is your plan to bring these types of freedom and liberties and, and to the other 49 states? Well, unfortunately, I live in, a, in the state Oregon mm -hmm. that also enjoys these liberties. Mm -hmm. um, we just passed uh, the um, medical marijuana, for example, a few years back. Mm -hmm. um, the the um, Dignity, we were the first state to pass that in Oregon as well. Mm -hmm. um, what I want people to understand is that um, these solutions exist, but you're not going to find these solutions in a two-party system, a system that's all about running for your election, campaign contributions, and pandering to lobbyists and you know corruption. That's what you have now with the two-party system. Mm -hmm. And I think people understand and they're ready uh, to vote for a third party. You know, 80% of the population is disenchanted with the two-party system. Congressional approval ratings are in the teens right now. People are looking for people from outside the system. They're looking for change. But they know they're really not going to get change with the Democrats or Republicans. And my third question, <clears throat> do you endorse the Free State Project? Of course I do. Okay. And uh, in fact, I've lived in Oregon. I've lived in uh, New Hampshire three times in my life. I lived uh, here when I was 25. 35 and 40, and I uh, love New Hampshire and, and uh, intend to come back someday. Are you going to eventually move to New Hampshire? I, 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 I may do that, yes. Okay, well, possible. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Lake, I want to welcome you and thank you for coming to the 2008 Liberty Forum. Thank you for inviting me. I have three questions for you. The first one is, what do you think do you bring to the Libertarian Party as a presidential nominee? Well, I think that I understand that some of the problems that are facing the country, and among them are uh, energy and the war in Iraq and um, the drug laws. And I think that those things, those three items, are very important to be uh, addressed. And I think that um, I, uh, 
president, I would uh, make sure that there were no obstacles to producing uh, nuclear power. And we need a lot of it. And right now we're sending $35 billion a month uh, out of the country to pay for oil, for energy, and that's about $400 billion a year. Ten years, that's $4 trillion. That's a lot of money to have to out of the country. So if we were nuclear powered and energy independent, we would be um, $35 billion a month to spend on domestic programs or to give back to the taxpayers. In New Hampshire, we have Fairmont Bell for more reasons and liberties than perhaps in other states because we have no seatbelt law. We just rejected the uh, federal ID system, card system. Um, let me ask you, what is your plan to bringing this onto the other 49 states, 49 states, and frankly, more freedoms? I'm not sure I understand. Do you, do you, do you? Well, the government does it with, uh, overreaches in businesses, personal life, everything from making phone calls to emails. So, so how do we roll back? Well, they have to do. We have to uh, minimize the federal government and reduce its responsibility. Um, I think that I would uh, reduce the amount of money budgeted to the FBI or the CIA because I don't know how constructive or effective they are. And, and uh, generally eliminate the, uh, the intrusiveness of the federal government. And, and, and uh, as the chief executive who does the enforcement of the laws, we don't enforce them. We make sure that they are not enforced and that the federal government gets out of the laws. So you have been here at the Liberty Forum now for days? Yes. So I wanted to ask if you would endorse the Free State Project? Would you endorse the Free State Project? Do you believe in what we do in our project? Yes, I think that you're doing a very good job here and that, um, that I'm very impressed with the speakers that you have and the subjects that they've covered. And I got one a history lesson from the um, Assembly of the Free He's a representative. And um, very informative. And I, and, um, I have uh, relatives who live in New Hampshire, and uh, they are very happy here. And uh, they try to make the case for me to move up here, and if they didn't have three feet of snow. So the answer is you're not going here. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you very much.